Good morning, Eddie Sutton with MVF. Today I'm here with Dennis Lauer, uh, Cortex Innovation Community CEO and President. Um, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. So tell me more about the Cortex Innovation Community. So uh, we're 187 acres in Midtown, uh, Central West End area, uh, founded in 2002. Our sponsors are three universities, the Botanical Garden and BJC. So um, with those kinds of sponsors, we've been able over the last 13 years to create a master plan, to stay the course, to recruit some companies in, but to principally focus on growing our own companies. And uh, what we're doing in, in the innovation community, as we now define it, is we're creating a live, work, play, learn environment that will appeal to the millennial workforce that is principally uh, who is coming every day into the district to work. What is one of your biggest challenges in, in fulfilling that mission? Probably the biggest challenge that we have right now um, are some financial resources to be able to acquire additional uh, properties because we are beginning to fill up our properties. And so we're, we're needing to figure out a five-year plan that's going to allow us to continue our trajectory. So we're focused a lot on that right now. We can go as fast as the market pulls us. Uh, and so it's a challenge in trying to ensure that we have the resources to keep up with the market, um, but also to support our emerging companies that ultimately are going to fill the district. Why St. Louis? Why now? What, what, do yeah. we br what do we bring to the table here? Yeah, what is St. Louis? Yeah, where does St. Louis fit in all this? Well, uh, it's really a perfect storm from my perspective. I've done this now for about 20 years. Uh, working in uh, urban innovation districts, St. Louis has all of the right elements. It's, it has all of the stars uh, in the constellation that are needed. It's my job to connect them all. It's my job to, um, to pull all of them together and get them working in the right direction, in the same direction, and not just working for themselves, but working collectively for the good of the whole. So I'm kind of the orchestrator, the facilitator, person at the center that's trying to do that, but it's really uh, all of those strong assets that we have here in St. Louis. Uh, that includes not just the, um, the, the big workforce generators being the uh, educational institutions, but it's also the cultural institutions that we have, incredible cultural institutions. And if I was to say one thing that surprised me uh, in coming to St. Louis, it's the fact that all of the museums are free. All right, so that says something about the values that Midwesterners have, that there should be open access to, to uh, cultural uh, amenities within, within the, the region. And I think that's a very positive message today. You know, I'm going to be spending some time in Chicago over the holidays, and I'm looking at all the costs I'm going to incur to go into all those museums, and I'm saying St. Louis is very special. But um, so the innovation community really tries to uh, take those uh, cultural and institutional and recreational assets and blend them all together to create an environment that is appealing to the millennial workforce. So um, what we're trying to do is to ride that demographic uh, wave uh, and create an environment where we can develop uh, well-paying high-tech jobs that will be attractive to the millennial uh, workforce that's graduating from our institutions. To learn more about MVF, visit mvfstl.org. MVF, where entrepreneurs go to grow.